or something you forgot along the way. Uh, it is on page 142. Anybody wants to read and explain it? Sure, I can read it. Okay, thank you, Rick. On asking favors, it is better to ask for something that costs a little to give than something that can be given painlessly. When someone asks if there is anything you want, be sure to show inordinate pleasure. Saying no thanks, I don't need anything, results in a net loss for all. Well, this relates, I think, uh, to me, to the first paramita of kindness or giving. Um, in order for you to be able to give something, it needs to be accepted. So um, there's uh, two parts to that equation, giving and accepting. And to be uh, in the position of giving is certainly important. And we think of it as a position of power, uh, the other party not having. Um, but it's an equal exchange, if you really think about it. Um, being able to do an act of kindness uh, and having it uh, received uh, and well received um, enables the person who is receiving to exercise gratitude, which is equally important in uh, finding happiness. So one hand washes the other in this example. There is the ability to give and the ability to receive and show gratitude. So the cycle uh, begins here. And it's a cycle that we try to keep going uh, because it builds on itself. The gratitude that's expressed uh, towards our act of kindness will inspire us to do more kindness. So if we think about that and we put ourselves into the precision of the person who's receiving, we see that we are equally important and we have a great power in enabling uh, the other person to feed on the gratitude that we show and allow them to, again, plant another good seed for themselves. In return, um, our showing gratitude uh, emboldens us, it empowers us to do our own acts of kindness. When we realize uh, that we're grateful, uh, naturally, we will want to do something uh, to pay back that debt of gratitude. It might not be toward the same person, but we can pay it forward any way we can. And the cycle keeps going and going and going. And uh, that's really what we want. We want the currency of gratitude to flow between all of us. So giving is great, but accepting is also great. Being able to ask of someone else to help us uh, is uh, showing strength, realizing that we need help, being open uh, to what help another person can give us, no matter how small. It's a positive, it's a gain. So we must uh, likewise uh, be very grateful. And like it says, we should show an inordinate pleasure uh, in receiving, because in essence, we are also at that point giving. So the, cir the circle of gratitude, the circuit of gratitude, that we, we keep the energy flowing any way we can. That's what I get out of it today. Okay, wonderful message. Thank you, Rick, for reading and explaining the story for us. Yeah, when we look around us, we find more examples, unfortunately, of how people create a lose-lose situation. So they don't express gratitude for the blessings they have or receive, and then um, they don't get motivated to give themselves. So in Buddhism, we do the opposite, as you explained so in so well. Um, yeah, we just give and then we express gratitude, whatever we receive, no matter how small. And the person who has practiced giving becomes encouraged. And in this way, goodness gets spread, light and goodness gets spread in the world, in the society. 
Thank you very much. Good job, everyone, for being here. Have a restful evening and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.